All right, so here's a quick demo of where we stand with um, the cyber geography application. And uh, so I guess we'll start out with showing you some of the features we can do right now. Uh, it should be noted this is a, an early alpha version, so there's going to be uh, a lot of changes, uh, in mostly in the GUI. Um, we don't quite have all the features we want to display in there, but uh, we've got a lot of it. And I think you'll be able to start to see how it's all going to shape up. Okay. So essentially, you've got the, the globe here, and you can uh, you can pan it around and uh, orbit around it, and then you can point at different countries. And uh, we won't quite go into selecting countries quite yet. But what we'll start with is uh, comparing countries. Um, so this is uh, there's a lot of values we can compare across all the countries. So an example would be GDP. And so what we do is uh, we pseudo color each country um, based on their their um, their GDP. So in this case. <clears throat> The countries with the that are yellow, you'll see, have a very small GDP, and uh, the countries that are they get hotter and they have more pink color, those are high GDP. So here's China with a very high GDP. Um, we can also look at uh, area. So countries that take up a lot of area will be darker, and they'll have longer lines. And uh, a lot of these island countries will have short yellow lines. We can look at internet users. So this is the uh, percent of the population um, that uses internet. Um, you can also look at just straight up population, and uh, as you can see, uh, over here, China and India both have a lot of population compared to the rest of the countries in the world. And then workforce. This is the population um, of each country that actually that does work. Um, so that's our comparison stuff. Uh, some features we're going to have in here before we deliver is uh, right now you you don't really know what these values are, but you'll be able to point at a country and uh, see that country's value as well as maybe its rank um, in the world. All right, so we'll stop comparing those things. Now let's just go um, go into a country inspection mode. And, and for this, um, we'll, we'll pick on India here. So if I select India, you can see we zoom in. And uh, the map is, is morphed into a flat map. And so if I zoom out, you can kind of still see where we are in the world. I'll zoom back in. And uh, we've got India up here at the top, along with its um, flag waving there. And then along each side of the country are different facts that we can display about the country. Um, so we'll just kind of walk through those and talk about what each of the facts are. So like here's terrain. We'll start with terrain. If I click terrain, what we get is um, the high point, which is uh, this, this place right here, the, the uh, red pin, and the low point, which is the yellow pin as well as the uh, the range of the country. So India actually has a quite a big range, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but its range goes from very low, which is the green column graph of the country, to very high. Um, all right, and uh, the next one is um, ethnic groups. So these are the ethnic groups of India. There's really only about three main ethnic groups of India. Uh, we've got uh, this Indo-Aryan which we can see from the bar graph here, that's the red section. That's the highest concentration of people, or the highest, um, most highest concentration of ethnic group. And then we've got this other, couple other ones that I don't know really how to say, but uh, you can see the green one's a, it's about 25% and the blue one's a small percentage. All right. Airports, this is the number of airports inside of India. And what, what we've done here is we've just landed a bunch of planes that represent um, the number of airports, Air India has 352 airports, which are indicated by these little planes over here. And go on to the next one. Planes flow away. Here's India's anthem. We won't listen to the whole thing. Um, the next uh, category is wonders. So if I click on this, we can see India has two wonders that we have uh, listed in there. The Kashmir Valley up north and the Taj Mahal. And uh, okay, next fact is literacy. Um, according to our data, 61% of the adults can read and write. And uh, of that 61%, 36 is uh, males and 24% are females. Um, so that's represented in this column graph here. Next one is um, age distribution. So this is how the population is split up among ages. So um, as we can see up here, 29.7% uh, of the population is our children. And of those two, we have the, the red bar is 15, about 16% are male, 
and the yellow bar uh, is about 14% female. Then uh, we've got a pretty big population of uh, adult males. Uh, it's the biggest population. Uh, it's the green bar here, and then the adult females is also fairly large. And then we have a very slight um, group of elderly fem uh, males and females. And you can see that's the top two bars here, the uh, blue and the, and the purple. Um, next fact we have is religions. These are the religions of India. And so we can see India's got uh, about six religions here. Um, looks like obviously the, the vast majority of them are Hindu, uh, 80%, followed by Muslim at 13%. And then we start getting into some kind of real small groups like Christians and Sikhs and others and unspecified. Okay, we'll go back. Uh, languages spoken in India. They have a whole array of languages spoken in India. A um, whole bunch. So these are them breaking down. It looks like the majority of people, or the, the largest language spoken in India is uh, Hindi at 48%, and then they kind of drop down into a bunch of kind of uh, small percentages um, of languages spoken in India. Uh, workforce of India, about 40.4% 40, 40 of the population um, is uh, working in India. And then finally, the industries of India. You can see we've got uh, three industries, service industry, and agriculture, and uh, with the largest population or the largest group being um, agriculture, which is the blue part of the column. Okay, and we'll move on to the left side or the right side um, facts. We've got uh, the government of India, and uh, we can see from the top line here that the government is a federal republic. Uh, natural resources in India, they have a whole list of natural resources here um, up at the top, um, from everything from natural gas to diamonds to petroleum. And we have a couple icons up here just to make it a little more interesting um, to represent some of the uh, some of the natural resources that are available in India. Cities. These are the major cities of India. Zoom in. We've got uh, five major cities, uh, including Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai. I'm not sure how to say that one. And and then the star indicates that this that New Delhi is the largest city, or I mean not the largest, the um, capital city of India. And um, we also list the populations. And you'll notice that the, uh, the city icons are slightly different. Um, anything that's over 10 million people has a larger city icon. Anything over 5 million people have, has an icon like this. And then we actually have two more icons for smaller cities um, that are just kind of like smaller towns. Um, the current, no, climate. Here's the climate. The climate of India varies, it looks like, from tropical monsoon in the south to temperate in the north. Uh, the currency in India is uh, a rupee. Uh, here's the GDP of India. Uh, their GDP is around one trillion, one and a half trillion or so, and uh, that compared to the rest of the world, that's about uh, about nine and a half percent of the maximum GDP. So that's what the column graph represents. Uh, military expenditures. Uh, they spend about two and a half percent of their GDP, which is de uh, demonstrated. Um, by the column graph here. And then uh, here's their population. Uh, they have a lot of people there. So they have uh, about a, a little more than a trillion people there. And uh, compared to the rest of the countries in the world, that's about 90% of the maximum population. I think the only people that beat them is China. <clears throat> um, this is their area. So this is uh, uh, saying how big the country is. And uh, it's it's uh, that many square meters, and it's about 19, almost 20, oh, about 19 percent of the largest country. So it's a, uh, it's not a, a very large country. This is the number of internet users in the country. <clears throat> so about five percent of the population. So they don't have a whole lot of internet users um, uh, in the in India. And then finally, the GMT. This is the Greenwich Mean Time of India. They're ahead by uh, five and a half hours. So these facts are available for any country out there. So we can, uh, you know, we can go around and look, and uh, all the countries have their facts. Um, you can check it out. Here's a better demonstration, maybe of, of the range, because uh, um, Brazil here goes from uh, doesn't quite go as high. So you can see the the column graph represents how much range of elevation this country has. So that about wraps it up. And um, yeah, hope you like it.